All right, so before we get started, I have a really quick update, an improvement, I would say. So briefly, I had mentioned in the character creation videos that I would be using in-world AI, which is AI that allows me to have conversations with AI. Uh, and I could program the, the characters uh, with personalities and then the AI responds to words based off of that. And that's cool. However, I ran into a hurdle with, with in-world AI. Currently, as it is now, February 9th. Currently, the characters in InWorld are not capable of addressing me by anything other than my username, which takes me completely out of the immersion. And that was a very dramatic drawback. So we can't use InWorld. We'll circle back to InWorld. And that's okay, because I personally would like to use Mythic for conversations, roll the conversations to see what the characters say. Uh, and the solution is astronomically better in my opinion. I discovered Eleven Labs, which is a voice training AI with superb narration. And we're gonna use Mythic for conversations and we're going to feed the dice results into ChatGPT to flesh out the response. And then we are going to have Mythic itself narrate everything that the NPCs are saying, as well as what my character is saying, so that they're all sharing this chat GPT brain. And so the conversations are very realistic in the way they speak with one another, because they're all being operated by uh, such powerful AI. Based off of the things that I say, I will tell chat GPT to translate that and we'll do the same thing for NPCs. And then it results in these really spectacular conversations. And chat GPT is very well aware of the personality because I use use chat GPT to flesh out the personality based off of the mythic dice results. So when I tell chat GPT to keep the, this particular personality in mind when responding with these with these uh, with these dice result rolls, it incorporates it fully delivers on the conversation. And so I never played mythic where mythic actually had a voice. So I would like all of I would like to introduce all of you to mythic. I will let mythic game master emulator explain why conversations within Master Rogue between me and NPCs are going to become much more grandiose. Thank you, Director. Mythic Master Rogue is empowered by ChatGPT, and with ChatGPT's interpretation of every Mythic Dice result, combined with its knowledge of the NPC's personality and circumstances, will be utilized to narrate the conversation results. The Director's interpretation will be fed into ChatGPT to be embellished upon then put into personality-based dialogue and then narrated by me, or if the director adds new voices for special characters, then them. If he ever perfects his own trained voice, then perhaps he'll use his own. The point is to immerse ourselves in this RPG with realistic, compelling dialogue at a fraction of the editing time. The director would sooner cut the editing process in half before ever tempering his ambitious ideas. Ultimately, these AI language models will enhance the conversation aspect of the Master Rogue, making it even more dynamic and realistic as the director feeds his responses into it. As you can hear and or see, the voice quality is near human and the captions pristine, courtesy of Descript AI. In conclusion, while the director enjoyed the live AI conversations, he believes it will be even cooler to have his character, the Journeyman, just as plugged in as the NPCs are, actions directed by him, then carried out in the narrative, fully immersed as his ultimate story unfolds, choice by choice. The mythic dice rolls will remain at the heart of the game, and the conversations will be even more realistic and engaging with the help of ChatGPT. We look forward to this new addition to our gaming experience. Additionally, the director looks forward to conversations between his rogue, the heroic journeyman, and Tort. So here's an example of what to look forward to, as well as a hint as to what the first day's scenario type. Tawart strides into the old tavern, her boots sinking into the dirt floor as she takes in the decrepit surroundings. With a sneer, she casts her gaze around the room, noting the rickety walls, the smoke-filled air, and the grime-covered bar. She pauses for a moment, taking a deep breath and savoring the scent of decay that permeates the room. Ha! she mutters to herself. What a pitiful excuse for a tavern, a haven for vermin and wastrels, nothing more. 
With a shake of her head, she strides to the bar, her eyes fixed upon the barkeep. You there, barkeep, she calls out, her voice ringing with authority. Pour me a drink and be quick about it. As she waits for her drink, Towart thinks to herself, This place may be a shambles, but it serves its purpose, a place for the desperate and the downtrodden to huddle and hide. But mark my words, I will not be here forever. I have greater things in store, greater challenges to face. With a wicked grin, Tort raises her glass to the empty room, toasting to her future and to the promise of adventure that awaits her beyond the walls of this desolate old tavern.